Guys, coming here. Welcome back to Langriza M. And all right, on this part one of two of video, we'll be doing the demo play of King Asma Deus and followed by the demo play of Zetni. So, right, they are the hero release for the month of February 2023 to March 2023. And followed by after their event end, we'll be coming with. The collaboration of Languiza Cross Shining Resonance. But that will be something for the next part of the video. Alright, so for part one of this video, we're doing the demo play of King Asmodeus. So part two will be for Sekni. So as a usual stuff, we'll be going through the characters, um, faction, talent, um, skin. Demo play, and we're gonna end with discussing about the enchantment that they will be receiving. So, all right, <clears throat> here we go. So, King Asmodeus is from Origin of Light, Strategy, and Mythical Realm, and this means he will get to enjoy the faction buff 3C from Grand Shu. So, all right, this is his class change. So, apparently, both of his class are. Host, though I personally was hoping that one of the class is gonna be like darkness um, or demon type because, well, based on the story, he apparently feels in um, feels in soul with the power of part of the power of chaos to understand more in depth about chaos. And all right, his talent effect, spiritual power, so. Um, the lower your HP, uh, your unit's HP falls, the greater your attack and defense rolls to a maximum of 40%. So you're not able to know um, what's the trash, threshold of each tier. Then when using straight line AOE skills, after dealing damage to enemy, you will cause position shifting effect to them. The position shifting um, amount is only one block and when you end turn during the turn before um, during the turn each time you do damage to enemies including fixed damage you will obtain a layer of holy, uh, holy tree or god tree armor where the effect is you will be able to block damage to maximum 8% of your max HP and it can be collect and stack to up to four layers and cannot be dispelled so well probably by the time you read this part you already knows that the item or equipment you'll be using is definitely um, blood sword blood torn sword because um, you will do follow up fixed damage and you're definitely trying to gain the max shield you can within the turn to increase his survivability however sadly um, as of now currently the apex already gone into um, top 8 to top 4 currently and there's new, still no sign of players using King Asmodeus <laughs> so alright and okay this is the skill he has so this is 2C the horizontal swipe Then this is um, stand up. It's one C, and apparently he has. So um, apparently, my bet he has one more um, new skills, exclusive skill three that I missed it out is horizontal sweep attack, one straight line, uh, for all enemy and ignore fifty percent of their defense and deal 0 0.3 times AOE damage so sorry about that and followed by his 3C and the rest is um, damage reduction and gut skills and also position shifting skills some old skills you can see ram guard okay these are all the soldiers you need he will have for uh, after you unlock all his class Then checking out his 3C animations. 
この厄災はやがて根絶される。So it's pretty cool that、um, he has this ghostly, ghostly cool、um, glowing effect. Let's check it out again. この厄災はやがて根絶される。And okay, his daily,、um, his normal height stats and、um, speech stats. So, oh, apparently he's 190 cm tall and 117 kg. I guess it's the heaviest character released so far. I mean, you can't blame him, he's half human, half horse. So, this is how he sounds like when you summon him. Okay, when he changed his class. When he releases skills. When you choose him in battle, and when he's not able to battle, then daily conversations.、Um, so far, he d o n o t have any things that sound s normal <laughs> and short. Okay, let's see how he speaks for his daily conversations. そこに縛られている混沌の力の悲鳴を聞いてみよう。Okay, when he's happy? アダン・ケルモが唯一言ったことは、女神が人類に希望を託しているということであり、これは疑うことない正しい決断だ。When he's angry? なぜ人々は理解できぬのか。混沌の誘惑は卑劣さと弱さを生むが、真の意志は混沌の中でも決して失われないということを。When he said, ノーランの王としての一生に、私は後悔などない。だが、父としては。And interactions, conversations. このような混沌の体は、そなたに恐怖を抱かせるだろうかしかし私には他に選択がなかったのだ。Okay, when he's irritated. 混沌に抗う意志のないものは私と共に行く必要はない。Special interaction. 次にまみえる時は闇が消え去っていることを願おう。Wow, that's a lot of long speech. And perhaps we'll be going on a set speech, something that we can use. No one no auto steno is sure ni, but as you are cool, kind of night. Danga, chichito stewa. Okay, when you hear the middle phrase that you say, Watashi ni wa cool, kind of night, it means I have no regrets. So, re regrets. So, when someone quite trying to question you, like, do you have any regrets for coming to this specific place you like or having this hobby or play this game? You can say this in a cool way. Watashi ni wa kōkai shite wa nai. So, let us listen it again. No ran no o t o shite no i s s h o ni watashi wa kōkai nado nai. Daga, chichi to shite wa. No ran no o t o shite no i s s h o ni. So, so, yeah, it means I have no regrets. So, overall, that's it for him. Then, okay, we will check out his skin. So, all the skins is only for one staple.、Um, so, either class is both cavalry. So, yeah. So let's check out、um, his skin. So it's pretty cool that he's a、um, ho um, ghostly horseman in suits. That's pretty cool. And let's check out how he <coughs> looks like in his action. So he's attacking with his scythe or sickle. 
So apparently I, I thought he should be using something like X and casting spell, releasing skills. Um, definitely running, chanting spells. Okay, big swipe, probably releasing his damage skills. And when he faint. Okay, I'm surprised I thought he would like turn subways or upside down. And this is how he looks like when he's done. So as you can see, all class of the same, then followed by his original class. I gotta say, this original class, the chibi face looks very weird and cute. It is a weirdly cute in, in a way. So again, this is how his running actions look like. Attacking. This is definitely better than his echo like skin, to be honest. Like he has much more action he's doing with his lens. He's like spinny, then he trusts trust it. Well, the scythe or sickle is just one um, swiping action of up to down. Okay, charging skills or chanting skills. Okay, releasing spells. And when he faint. So, do we have any stun action? Nope. So, not able. Oh, okay, this is how he looks like when he stun. It's pretty cool. Then, let's check out his full action figures for anyone who is interested to draw him or do cosplay of him. I mean, it would be really cool if if anyone is able to do his cosplay, it's cause this is definitely astonishing and cool. Yep. It is a very grand figure and yep. Oh gosh, even his hoof are illuminating. That's pretty pretty nice. Let's check out sideways. So, alright, we are not able to check 100% the full um, sketch art style of this character. So, overall, if you are a fan of um, position shifting heroes and you like his stud, um, do give him your support. The reason that he's not um, being pulled a lot or uh, being used in PvP as suggested by the pro players from the CN server is that... Um, First off, this banner is a double mail banner and you need um, to summon both of the characters because you need both of them to uh, interlock each other's bond. So a lot of players think this is um, um, kind of waste a lot of resources because if I only want to use Asmodeus, I don't want Sagni, but I need to pull Sagni to unlock his bond. Um, and it is not very cool or good that if I only get to pull as modules, but um, after wasting all my resources, I do not get Sagni and um, I can't fully unlock the potential of the hero, so that's not very cool. And secondly, um, with the release of characters like Hilda, who can prevent uh, herself and allies from getting position shift, and also um, the release of the helmet item. Um, uh, electric flying helmet, the one that is in green color, um, emitting electric sparks that can um, prevent your allies from getting position shift. This put um, Asmodeus in a tight spot to be um, used or being summoned by players because they find um, he's not very useful in. PvP, whereas um, PvE wise, um, it depends. So, um, you have enough tickets, feel free to draw. Then, and, okay, I presume I have not messed up anything. And I guess, alright, we will go for the demo play. So, overall, um, Asmodeus and Sagni is not too hard to use. I do a pre trial play before um, I record this video. So, yep. Apparently he's kind of easy to use, so let's, without further delay, let's get started. So alright, all the skills we will be bringing will be the new um, exclusive skills. Um, 
horizontal and vertical swipe and followed by 3C we don't have the stand up skill so yep here we go so okay yeah i'm just gonna show this is aoe skills so this is horizontal swipe the one that will reduce um their attack and intelligence by 20 percent and it deals 0 0.5 times damage then we have or um, vertical swipe or vertical push so this is the one that will ignore 15% of their defense and deals 0.3 times AOE damage so horizontal swipe is better personally and and do note that this is we call it the buy and seller show so the stats they give us right now is seller show um, I don't know, like, like this is not the actual real stats that you'll be able to easily bring up to. So just take note. So all right, we'll be using the three C. So you get to choose the first one. Um, you get to do a standoff, vertical swipe, and followed by a horizontal swipe. The other one is standoff. I'll stand up, horizontal swipe, and followed by vertical swipe. So, yup, I will be using this right now. So, we, later when we play the second time, we will try the other one. So, alright, here we go. So, as you can see, it's pretty easy to use that. You should, you can easily gain your um, holy tree stacks, and especially the number of people, enemies that got um, damaged by you. So, as you can see, he's a great target for mass enemies attacking. So, you can gain the stacks easily. I mean, it's not great if you're trying to play with a 1v1, so it's not easy to gain the stacks. Alright, um, I'll be standing on the defensive terrain. I'm gonna push the enemies away. As you can see, we don't really have to um, keep going to battle to have like animations because um, most of his skills is just AOE. <laughs> um, overall, he's definitely not a very great matchup with characters like against characters like Huda and Rose and Seals who can do self uh, recovery to the team. Um, that's very bad. Um, however, overall, if you get to start off a match by banning enemies, um, characters like Huda or Rose and Seals, you have a higher chance to <coughs> push the enemy back, um, especially um, into the fire puddle uh, at PvP during each turn um, as we advance there will be this fire powder. The thing I can think of right now is that um, King Asmodeus is a great matchup with Sagni. If you can get two of them in PvP you can easily um, do the... and of course you need to ban characters like Hilda. You can have a higher chance to achieve um, pushing enemy to the fire powder and with Sagni's talent to um, cause enemy to have break leg means they have movement speed reduction so there's a high chance that they can be jammed into the puddle and die inside there 
Though um, that is if the enemies um, do not ban both our heroes or either of your heroes. So that's it. And all right, we're going to do a final demo play. And this time we'll be choosing the other skills. So, yep. So, all right, here we go. <clears throat> so, all right. Sonata to tomo ni. Um, before I forget, if you want to check out how each of his skills means and works, kindly check out the previous video that I have posted um, to do more in-depth understanding about his skills. So alright, let us check and we will use the first option this time. So this time around we use the uh, one uh, vertical lens, so here we go. So the first option is definitely not very nice. So the first enemy, uh, the, the first option of the skill is will push the first enemy back to space. So in this kind of scenario when enemies are almost aligning, it's not a great advice to use the first option. Instead, you should be using um, the second options that we will do a horizontal swipe first instead. So yeah. So the first option and let us check out um, going to battle. So let's check um, how fast he attacks in battle. So here we go. And you can see the lack of enemies that got damaged. We only get two layers of God Tree armor. So okay, I'll be sending a Forest with higher defense, so let's check out. Okay, that attack animation is kind of fast, we'll check out again. So as you can tell, tell like the normal usual cavalry, um, he will attack first. So if enemies um, are Lancer class or have lots of soldier, um, there's a high chance that he will soak more of the damage than his soldiers. All right, let us save for one more turn. Yep, this is the position that we want to be spamming his first option of the TC. So let's see right now how it goes. Nope, nope. So the first option is only great against single enemy. The second option is more or better for using against two enemy. I mean, it, it, it got to depend on the formation. If it's a um, front triangle where the tip of the triangle is the enemy facing against you, then you can use the first option. You could push them back two times, then he's gonna march forward. If not, um, the second option is better. So, okay, I guess that's it for his demo play. His short swing and easy to use and understand. Um, though not so much players want to draw him for PvP, but what did you guys think or feel after this demo play? Do you think he has potentials in the future? And well, basically, as you can see right now, his enchantment is definitely, um, full moon is definitely out of the question because his talent is to have um, lesser HP to trigger higher offensive and defensive stats. So the best I would say it will be um, Breeze followed by Magic and probably Meteor. So what about the rest? What do you guys think? Leave it down in the comment sections below. On the second part of the video, we'll be doing the demo play of the Holy Child Sackney. So remember to like and subscribe. This is Kami. See you guys and goodbye. Thank you guys for watching.